नमस्ते वेलकम टू टेक ग्लिम सेक्स वेर वी डिकोर द वर्ल्ड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एंथुसिया एंड एक्सपर्ट्स अ लाइक टूडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इन टू द फैसिनेटिंग यूनिवर्स ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अनपैक द टेक्नोलॉजीज पी एंड बिटकॉइन इथेरियम सोलाना एंड एक्स आर वी एक्सप्लोर द डाइवर्स टाइप्स ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसीज एनालाइज द लेटेस्ट इंडस्ट्री ट्रेंड्स एज ऑफ डिसम्बर and speculate on what the future holds for this revolutionary space let's get started so the first thing that we are going to talk about is what is blockchain technology at its core blockchain is a decentralized immutable ledger technology instead of relying on a central authority like a bank blockchain uses a peer to peer network to record transactions every transaction is grouped into a block and these blocks are linked chronologically to form a chain the technology relies on consensus mechanism to validate transactions popular consensus method include proof of work proof of stake and newer innovations like proof of history this ensure that no single entity can alter the blockchain's data this foundational technology powers the cryptocurrency ecosystem and extends its application to supply chain management health care voting systems and more so the next thing that we are going to talk about is understanding the technology behind bitcoin bitcoin was created in 2009 by an individual or group under the pseudo name satoshi nakamoto introduced the world to blockchain technology but how does it work bitcoin operates on a proof of work consensus mechanism in this system miners solve complex cryptographic puzzles to validate transactions and secure the network each miner competes to add the next block to the chain earning a reward in bitcoin for their efforts bitcoin's blockchain is highly secure but faces scalability issues transactions are relatively slow with a capacity of around 7 transactions per second transactions per second are also known as tps despite this bitcoin remains the most recognized and widely adopted cryptocurrency so the next topic on which we are going to talk about is ethereum in smart contracts ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization ethereum was launched in 2015 by vitalik buterin and his team it revolutionized blockchain technology by introducing smart contracts smart contracts are self executing agreements with the terms directly written into the code these contracts run on ethereum's decentralized virtual machine allowing the creation of decentralized applications ethereum's transition from proof of work to proof of stake through the ethereum 2.0 upgrade has made it more energy efficient and scalable with a capacity to handle thousands of transactions per second so the next topic on which we are going to talk about is solana's unique technology solana a rising star in the blockchain world has garnered attention for its speed and low transaction costs what makes it different Solana uses a unique consensus mechanism called proof of history combined with proof of stake. Proof of history timestamps transactions before they are validated, enabling the network to process up to 65,000 transactions per second. This scalability makes Solana an ideal platform for decentralized finance and NFT projects. However, critics point to occasional network outrages as a challenge Solana must address. So the next topic on which we are going to talk about is XRP and its role in cross-border payments. XRP is developed by Ripple Labs, targets the financial sector, specifically cross-border payments. Unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP does not rely on mining. instead it uses a consensus algorithm called the ripple protocol consensus algorithm this allows for faster transaction speeds settling payments in 3 to 5 seconds 
XRP's primary use case is facilitating quick and cost-effective cross-border transactions. It has partnered with major financial institutions worldwide. Although it faces ongoing legal challenges in the US regarding its classification as a security. So now let's dive deeper into the different categories of cryptocurrencies. The first one is payment coins. These are designed mainly for peer-to-peer -peer transactions acting as a digital cash. We will discuss three examples of payment coins. First example is Bitcoin. The pioneer known for its decentralized nature and robust security. The second example is Litcoin often referred to as silver to bitcoins gold offering faster transaction speeds and lower fees the third example of payment coin is bitcoin cash a fork of bitcoin emphasizing larger block sizes for faster transaction processing so the second type of cryptocurrency is utility tokens these grant holders access to specific services or functionalities on a particular blockchain platform. We will discuss three examples of utility tokens. The first is Ethereum, the leading platform for smart contracts and decentralized applications. The second example is Chainlink, facilitate secure and reliable data feeds for smart contracts bridging the gap between on-chain and off-chain information. The third example is Filecoin, a decentralized storage network allowing users to store and retrieve data on a global network of nodes. So the third type of cryptocurrency is stablecoins. These aim to minimize price volatility by pegging their value to a stable asset typically a flat currency or a basket of currencies. We will discuss three examples of stablecoins. First is Tether, one of the most popular stablecoins claiming to be backed by an equivalent amount of US dollars. The second example is USD coin, another prominent stablecoin fully backed by US dollars held in reserve. The third type of stablecoin is DAI, a decentralized stablecoin governed by an algorithm maintaining its peg to the US dollar through a system of collateralized debt positions. So the next type of cryptocurrency is security tokens. This represent ownership in an underlying asset such as equity in a company, real estate or commodities. They are subject to security regulations and offers investors ownership rights and potential dividends. We will discuss three examples of security tokens. The first example is equity tokens, represents shares in a private or public company. The second example is real estate tokens, represent ownership in real estate properties offering fractionalized ownership and improved liquidity. The third example is commodity tokens, represent ownership in commodities like gold, oil or agriculture products. The next type of cryptocurrency is meme coins. Meme coins were initially created as a joke or for entertainment, but these cryptocurrencies have gained significant attention through community-driven hype and social media trends. We will discuss two examples of meme coins. First is Dogecoin. It was inspired by the Shiba Inu meme known for its large and active community. The second example is Shiba Inu, another meme coin with a loyal following, often referred to as the Dogecoin killer. So understanding these different types of categories provides a crucial foundation for navigating the diverse landscape of cryptocurrencies. So the next segment is current trends and future outlook. As of December 2024, the cryptocurrency industry is buzzing with significant developments. 
Bitcoin recently crossed one lakh dollars, fueled by increasing institutional adoption and regulatory clarity in key markets. Meanwhile, Ethereum's ecosystem continues to expand with layer two scaling solutions like Optimism and Arbitrum gaining traction. The rise of AI-generated blockchain applications and modular blockchains is also shaping the future, promising enhanced scalability and automation. Tokenized real-world assets are another growing trend, with projections exceeding $50 billion by 2025. So, blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies have come a long way transforming industries and redefining how we perceive value and trust. But challenges like regulation, scalability and adoptions still lie ahead. So, blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies have come a long way transforming industries and redefining how we perceive value and trust. But challenges like regulation, scalability and adoption still lie ahead. Thank you for joining this in-depth exploration of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest tech insights. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, keep innovating, keep exploring and stay curious. See you soon guys.